Let's give an overview of the bookmap chart. In the upper left, you'll find the drop-down menus and the toolbar, followed by the various instrument tabs. The main bookmap chart is below. The vertical white line here divides the main chart window. The current market is to the right, and the historical market is to the left. On the right, there are multiple columns displaying various data. At the bottom, there's a subchart and widget panel that displays various studies and indicators. The main bookmap chart may look complex, however, in reality, it displays very simple data. The data is visualized in a unique way, allowing you deeper transparency into the behavior of the buyers and sellers, thus allowing you to make better trading decisions. There are only three elements on the bookmap chart, the heat map, the volume dots, and the best bid and offer. Let's take these elements off the chart and add them back one at a time. In fact, let's add a candlestick chart first and compare. A candlestick chart only displays four data points, open, high, low, and close within a specific period. All the data is aggregated and locked within that period. The first element on the bookmap chart is the best bid and offer. This is pure streaming price action of what happened between those locked periods in the candlesticks. The second element on the chart is the volume dots. These show the market buy and sell transactions that occurred on the best bid and offer. This is the aggressor volume that actually moves price. A red dot is a market sell transaction. A green dot is a market buy. A larger dot indicates more transactions. The third element on the bookmap chart is the heat map. It is derived from the depth of market or dome or your level two. Limit buy and sell order liquidity in the dome is given a graphical representation in the heat map. The scale of the heat map is in the top center of the bookmap app. Red and orange is very high liquidity, followed by yellow, white, blue, and then black, which is the least amount of liquidity. The context between these three elements will offer you more transparency into what really transpired in the market. For example, you'll be able to precisely see where aggressors are transacting and how it relates to the limit buy and sell order liquidity.